It's 60 Faux Boy. <laughs> Scratch. Dress in the culture. I'm addressing the culture, huh? Addressing the culture. I'm addressing the culture, huh? Addressing the culture. I'm addressing the culture, huh? Addressing the culture. I'm addressing the culture. We gon' talk about it. Come address the culture. We gon' talk about it. Come address the culture. We gon' talk about it. Come address the culture. We gon' talk about it. Come and address the culture, huh? Break by break, you get your boy Big Wall, and this is Address the Culture, and we back with another exciting episode. We got a special guest in the building now. When we talk about somebody that's setting themselves apart from anybody in the industry, um, using a platform, their style, their original essence that's carrying them to heights in the game. You know what I'm saying? She's like nobody else out here. You know what I'm saying? Making her own lane, blazing the game. We got the one. We got the only. We got peaches in the building. Welcome to Address the Culture. <laughs> What's good? You already know, man. Two feet in a heartbeat, man. It's, it's dope to have you come through the culture, man. You know, because um, we both know in this game, it's, it's, it's few and far between. There's four flowers. You know what I mean? It's hard to get to the top. You know what I mean? And um, seeing your story, it can motivate the culture, give people some motivation and some inspiration. So I thank you for coming through to address the culture. Hey, I appreciate you having me. I'm, I'm blessed to be here. It's, it's been a journey. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Um, so with all that being said, the first thing I want to know is how did you get your name? How did I get my name? I got my nickname in uh, seventh grade for uh, wearing too much perfume. Uh, my friends kind of made fun of me a couple days, said I smell like a bunch of peaches. And then I wrote it on my papers. My teachers called me it. Um, and then it kind of evolved to now V.I. Peach. My artist name is V.I. Peach. Um, and a consultant out of Atlanta um, helped me develop that and said it, it fit my style. And I'm always in V.I. Peach. Yeah, that's dope. Um, what they say, very important person. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Big <laughs> thing. Talk your ish. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so with all that being said, who is VIP? Man, I am a uh, dog groomer full time. Uh, I've been dog grooming for 12 years now. And I uh, also am a single mom. Uh, to a six-year-old diva named Sydney. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's just uh, me and her here. Um, and I don't know, I'm, I'm resilient, badass, uh, kind of, I wear a bunch of hats. I'm also a yeah. model. Uh, I run a talent agency called Platinum Peach Talent LLC. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, and I'm a rapper, I'm an artist, and I'm here to change the game. Talk your ish. You know what I'm talking about? That's a fact. Um, <laughs> you wearing all them multiple hats is, is very inspirational. You know what I mean? Because, you know, um, in this game, um, people don't like to wear multiple hats. They like to have their mind set on one path to mm. get them where they want to be. And you being willing to wear multiple hats and understanding that this is entertainment. And there's right. more ways to get to where you're trying to get to. So that's dope. Shouts out to you. Appreciate um, it. No doubt, no doubt. You're going to get your flowers today. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's a fact. Um, so with all that being said, um, how did you get your first start into music? My first start into music? Like the first song I ever made or? Just just in general. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if you was, you was at home, you used to write poetry and it led into music or, you know what I mean? It was just yeah. a, a, a journey. You know, tell me your journey. How, how, how do you get into this? Um, so I've always been involved in music in some type of way. I was the plug in high school, so I was always on thatpit.com, LiveWire. I had all the new Gucci mixtapes and made everybody CDs in high school. Um, my uh, sister was, a, she still is a, a musician and a singer, um, so I always went to her shows and supported her music. Um, and then my little, uh, and then my daughter began singing her music at open mics and like, I took her to like karaoke and stuff for a couple years. Uh, and then I started doing karaoke, 
Um, and then I wanted to uh, make a diss track about one of my exes. So okay, uh, <laughs> one of my first songs. <laughs> it was my first song. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, oh, uh, how did he feel about the diss song? Did he listen to it? Yeah. So it's actually a local producer here in Cincinnati, and I bought one of his beats and made the song on that. And then I came to his house and played it for him. <laughs> all right you want all the smoke huh <laughs> that's a fact all right talk your itch um who inspires you to make music um demi lovato kesha okay. um gucci uh i love me some uh flo millie and cardi oh. Oh. And Ash Nico. Okay. Okay. Um that that's a um wide range of artists. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's dope. Um when when, when your ear is open to many artists, your music don't be put in a box. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So that's super dope that you're willing to, to touch every genre. You know what I'm saying? And I hear it in your music. That's dope. Yeah, that's that's super dope, man. I, I, yeah, I like I that. All kinds of music. I love Spotify. I use Spotify to find new artists. That's kind of how I've just developed my taste I have a, a big playlist. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Um, how would you describe the music that you create? How would I describe it? It's uh, unique and it's different. Um, I think because of the different genres that I listen to, uh, I love that this came across in my music involuntarily or, or organically that when people listen to my music, they're like, oh, you... That reminds me of Queen Herb or Ash Nico or Cardi or yeah. a combination of all the three. And I'm like, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> but really, my inspiration is coming through in my music. And I'm yeah. glad it's unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's dope, man. Um, when you get in the studio and you and you making your music and you putting it all together, what's your creative process like? I like to pre-write a lot. I like to pre-write a lot and just get a bunch of, especially like a theme, I like to get a theme, then pre-write, and then uh, listen to a beat, and then the beat kind of takes me off from there. Okay, okay, that's dope. Um, you wear multiple hats, and um, I'm, I'm so into people who, uh, I like to call them moguls, you know what I mean? People who wear multiple hats and, and, and do it at a high level. And you spoke about your other business when you um helping models and put them together and helping them win too. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk about that a little bit and um, tell me why you decided to do that? Be willing to use your platform to help other people reach their goals. Um, could, could could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I I love that you've researched it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a platinum peach mentorship program, basically. Um, I began modeling uh, about three years ago um, and, and mastered it and I had a lot of women reaching out to me for help on how to model. So I started teaching classes twice a month um, and it became more than just modeling, but really helping. I mean, women that are very similar to me, they're the single moms or just have really rough backgrounds and trying to help them be successful um, and to navigate the industry without being taken advantage of. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Um, shouts out to you for that because um, we know in this game, man, um, it's a, it's a lot of people that's out looking to take advantage of certain people. You know what I mean? So to have somebody that then then walk those paths and is willing to show people the right way to move is dope because a lot of people don't care once they get to a certain place. You know, they 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 hold on to it like it's the best kept secret and they don't want to pass on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to you. That's that's super dope. Um when you talk about making music and we're talking about the industry with your sound, who do you hear yourself most likely collabing with? Oh man, that's a great question. Thank you. Um man, I would love to collab with Queen Herb. That would probably oh. be a goal of mine and uh i love me some big sean and eric billinger oh yeah, yeah. you like if i could yeah. manifest that <laughs> <laughs> that's dope well look 
We we all about good vibes around these parts. So we're gonna put that air, we're gonna put that energy out in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna make that happen. And then when, when you do that, you're gonna come back on the dress the coach and we're gonna talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> That's super dope. Now, um around this time, I like to um shake it up a little bit, dig into your psyche a little bit. You know what I mean? Um if you could share the stage with any artist, dead or alive. You know what I'm talking about? And you know the vibes. I'm talking arena shit. 80, 90,000, arena pack. You tell an engineer to bring the lights down, and you tell everybody to take their cell phones out and light up the building. You know, chill bump shit, superstar shit. You know what I'm talking about? If you can share the stage with any artist, dead or alive, Miss VIP, who you gonna share the stage with? Man, Kesha. Mm. I know, I know. Only because a two of her music, two of her songs really got me through some shit in my life. So like, yeah. that means a lot to me and that I want my music to touch people in that way. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I know what I mean? I have a hip-hop version. If you want a hip-hop version, I give you hip-hop. But no! Of my favorite. That, that, that's dope. It, 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 it's, it's bigger than just an experience for you when it comes to her. Like, yeah. like it, it's, it's a vibe. Like, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Super dope. Um, Now, we both know the internet is a huge part of what we do. You know what I mean? Some people say it's a gift. Some people say it's a curse. Some people say it's smoke and mirrors. You know what I'm saying? But through your viewpoint, how do you feel the music industry has been impacted by the internet? I think it's changed it a lot. I think it's it's really put a lot of power in, in the artist's hands and how we handle our music. Um, you know, I use it as a tool in all aspects. I mean, Instagram and marketing alone um, it has been very useful to me as a, an artist as anywhere I travel or using it as our own promotion. Um, you know, it, and then the Facebook as well, it's how you tap in and build your fan base. Uh, yeah. That's how I built my fan base organically for the last seven years is is using Facebook and Instagram. Um, yeah. So I think it can be very useful if you use it in the right way. Uh, and it can be a downfall to those who, who don't use it in the right way. <laughs> yeah, 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 a absolutely. Uh, well, you've definitely been using it in the right way because your, 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 your platform and, and as far as everything that you're doing, it's definitely out there, you know what I'm saying? So you 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 definitely doing what you're supposed to do. Shouts out to you. Um if you could think back, what was some of the best advice you've ever been given? The best advice that I've been given. Um be kind to yourself. I think that was what I always say that to myself through this this journey that I've been on. Um and and I don't know. I can't think of any other pertinent advice that I've been given. That was a good one, though. You know what I'm saying? Because um, caring for yourself is the most important thing. If if you don't love yourself and care for yourself, especially in this business, you gotta have tough skin. So so that that that's a good one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That that one could get you through a lot. Um, if you could change something about the game, what would you change? Um, you know, I think the thing that's really bothering me is a very um, male-dominated industry. Talk about it. Um, and as an entrepreneur and as a woman, I've run into a lot of roadblocks or things that's been frustrating to me in the industry when it comes to that. So, if I have any influence moving forward, I'd be changing something about that. Immediately, huh? I hear it in your voice. <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> I hear it in your voice. I feel you. Yeah, that's a fact, though. Um, along the line, uh, uh, along the line um, of, of of you giving good advice or even hearing a good advice, if you could go back and tell younger you something that 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 can help them along the way, um, if you could go back and give yourself some advice. As a shorty, what would you tell yourself? Uh, to believe in yourself. I think it took me you know, for a while there. I was looking for all these people to believe in me when all I needed to really do was to believe in myself and that I could accomplish these things. 
um, and to really realize my worth a lot sooner than mm. I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, th that's very important, man. A lot of people don't know their worth, and they're willing to take and settle for anything. So knowing your worth is very important. That's great advice. Super dope. Um, what would you like to say to all of your supporters? All of the people that's been in your corners, your A1s, your day ones, as they say. What message would you like to say to them? You know, I that's one thing I've I've lost. I always heard about people in the music industry like losing some friends, like when you start to do music. And I definitely have gone through that phase and I think filtered through a lot of the people that I thought were my friends. And now I've really had people that have stuck with me even through it. Um, so I appreciate them. I have a great team of girls and people who come to all my shows or, um, you know, come to all my photo shoots and really believe, um, in my vision and where I'm going. And I can't wait until it all pays off and I can like, you know, we say here, you know, we made it and, and we did with all of their help as well. I always try to stay humble and appreciate those that have helped me along the way. I even actually yeah. have a list of people. I make a list every day of like who's helped me so that I can remember it. <laughs> that's <laughs> dope. That's dope. Accountability. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. That's super dope. So what we going to do, we going to do this for them. You know what I'm saying? Something I call doing it for the culture, rapid fire. I'm going to ask you some questions. That's gonna give your fans a little bit more insight on who you are as a person. You down? Okay, that's fine. All right. The first thing I do or think when I wake up in the morning is check my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hot or cold? Hot. Favorite restaurant? Ooh. La Roses. <laughs> okay. All right. Pizza. Chicken. Okay, uh, okay, that's dope. Um, <laughs> uh, chicken, steak, or fish? Uh, chicken. Okay. Favorite pair of shoes of all times? Oh, man. <laughs> Favorite pair of shoes? I don't know. I wear a lot of heels. That's okay. <laughs> Just heels. Just heels. heels. That's my go to heels. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, if you were stuck on the desert island, it could only take three albums with you. Which albums you take? Which album? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question, too. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe, uh, Maybe, I wouldn't be necessarily an album, and people are probably going to hate me for this, but um, <laughs> Drake, Drake's so far gone. Classic. I, just, I grew up in, uh, that was my senior year of high school, and okay. uh, one of my favorite years. So, yeah, yeah. Like, just relive it all the time. Nostalgia, <laughs> nostalgia. Yeah. I'm yeah. with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me two more. Oh, two more? Um, Kesha's uh, Rainbow. Cause as I said, that that whole album yeah got me through a lot, um, and then Russ's album. Oh my gosh, almost I can't remember the name of it, but it has uh, a song in there that inspired me to make music as well. So I, I always mess with Russ. That's dope. People sleep on Russ. He, he's super talented. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a fact. Um, favorite drink. Alcoholic or just whatever, like, just just whatever. If it's alcohol or regular, what's your favorite drink? I usually just drink water or a white claw. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Favorite sports team? Bengals. Mm. Okay, all right. Talk to your itch. Uh, weekends or weekdays? Weekends. Okay, all right. How many times a day do you think about sex? I don't know, once or twice. Once or twice. Hey, you focus. <laughs> hey, you focus. You got too many hats on your head. You focus Burger. over there. <laughs> They're at the scratchy and they just, you know, to keep away from my goals. <laughs> I feel you. Okay. Uh, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, to fly. Mm, get out the jam, huh? Get out of here. Traveling. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, 
I'm going to start the sentence and I want you to finish it for me, okay? My name is V.I. Peach and I am a badass. Mm, talk your shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's dope. Um, tell me what's next. What, what What's next on the, up the plate, up the bat for you? Um, what, what, what you got going on, man? Talk your shit. Man, I, uh, my birthday, first of all, my birthday's coming up May 9th. And then uh, June 12th, I have uh, Bez Believe. I'm for Bez Believe again. I open up from Florida. I'm doing it in Columbus. So if you're in Columbus, come out and see me. Big ass tour. That is my next big uh, thing on my list. So I'm, I'm chilling out till then and just working on my music, working on my album, and learning and trying to get on Survivor. So my dream is to be on Survivor, the reality show. So I'm making my uh, video for that as well. Oh, that's dope. I can see you on survival. Hey, hey, they gonna have a problem. Nah. They gonna have a problem. <laughs> they gonna have a real problem. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I want to thank you for coming through to address the culture, man. Your um energy was amazing. Your story was inspirational. Um, we definitely gonna have to tap back in whenever you have anything going. Um, anything you want to talk about, come on back in. We're we going to have a good time. We're going to talk about it. Consider this your home away from home. And I really appreciate your time. Hey, I appreciate you. We'll see you in Columbus. You already know what it is, man. This is your boy, Big Wall, and this is Address the Culture. And like I always say, your culture makes you who you are. So make sure they respect it. We're going to catch you on the next episode. We out of here. It's 64, boy. <laughs> Scratch. Dress in the culture. I'm a dress the culture, huh? Dress in the culture. I'm a dress the culture, huh? Dress in the culture. I'm a dress the culture, huh?